you sent me a picture before the workshop started, I put it into an app called Notonizer. And this is my picture right here in the app. What I did with this, the color picture, a Notan, you can just to go all black and white and you can see the pattern it makes. And this bar down here slides how much black and white you get. So you can adjust it like this. However, we don't want just black and white, which is what a true Notan is. We want to have three or four levels. So up here, there's bars that say three level, four level, and many levels. We're gonna go for four levels right here and touch that. Whoops, I gotta turn it back to color first. And when I do, I get this pattern that's the actual picture that I have. I can lighten up the gray, the blacks by going like this. I can make more whites by sliding this bar on this side, and I can adjust the grays in the middle right here. If it moves, there we go. So you can see you can really change the pattern of what you have a lot. And what I do when you send it to me, I adjust it so there's not too much dark. Usually I always lighten the darks, but I want the whites to be powerful. In this case, I wanted the whites right here to join into that sky area. But what I do, I, I go to, I wanna show you how I got the picture. I go down here to the camera or where the little photograph is. And I touch the photograph and I go into my pictures and uh, let's see, let's, that's the wrong file. And here's my pictures. This is a different one that I took another year that I was in Venice, but I'll just go through this whole thing again. Turn it into color. You don't have to, you can just go to four levels. Oh, I know what it's doing. When you touch that or touch three level, there's three levels and there's four levels. You can see how very, very dark this is. So I would certainly want to let more detail show by eliminating some of those heavy shadows. You can see how that makes a huge difference in the picture and maybe pop a little bit more white in there. Oh, I like it in the sky. And let's see what happens if we adjust the light gray and the dark gray. I'm getting lots more light gray like this. So I can play with this until I have a pattern that I like. Once I have, I have found the pattern, then I go down to this corner over here and there's a little arrow and when I click that, it saves it for me. So it's easy to use, it's an easy app to use and I think it's only three or four dollars. So I highly recommend getting that. This one right here is levels and the levels you can't adjust how much you get. You just get more levels the more you push it. So this is, this is seven levels, but you can see the darks are heavy there. So I always use three or four values to get my patterns and then I can adjust them after I print it out. So I wanted to show you that for Notonizer. Um, the app looks like this. I'll go get it for you and show you, just so you know. So that's what you look for when you're getting ready to buy it. Gene Peterson told me about this and it's just a wonderful, wonderful app to use. It helps you simplify the shapes into shapes rather than painting a building and a window. You begin to see the values because that's truly what we have to paint is the values in a picture to make it read right.